now we're going to be having Dan Halfley, who is a UCSC graduate and executive director, the executive director of the O'Neill Sea Odyssey, which I would like to take a moment to say was my first exposure to climate change and my first source of education and knowledge on climate change. I got to go on the Odyssey um, when I was like six or seven with my junior lifeguards fleet and it was wonderful. I saw a pod of dolphins. It was really, really great. And so I'd like to thank Dan himself uh, whenever he comes up. Um, he is an environmentalist who helped establish the Monterey Bay Marine Sanctuary, a husband, a father, and a neighbor. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. How y'all doing today? I can't hear you. That's what I'm talking about. Well, first of all, thank you so much for those words for O'Neill Sea Odyssey. And I actually wanted to uh, start off with something that Catherine talked about, which was the fight against offshore oil that began about 40 years ago, and also talk about another fight that's relevant to these 21 young people that we're here today to support. That happened 55 years ago in Birmingham, Alabama. Anybody ever heard of the Children's Crusade? Know what that is? So the civil rights uh, establishment, the movement in Birmingham, Alabama in 1963 really ran up against a brick wall. The city council there wasn't going to do any of the requests, any of the demands that were being made. They were, didn't have the right to protest. They were really in a corner and could not move. It was as though they were stuck from an organizing perspective. So what happened is the students began to organize, but they did it in a way that was under the radar. They spoke to each other in between classes, they talked on the phone, they didn't have meetings, but they organized, I mean, today we, we, they would be texting with each other, they organized together, basically in secret, and then bam, the day came when they had this beautiful action. The city had no idea what hit them, and the news media took notice. And it wasn't the thing that turned the tide necessarily, but it certainly broke a log jam. So that's exactly what these 21 young people are doing. And that's exactly what you all are doing and rallies across the country supporting them. And I'd like to also thank the organizers of the rally today for what you're doing. Big round of applause for them. But it's really going to take this type of direct action because we're running out of time. And, and Catherine referred to ocean acidification. That's real, it's not just sea level rise. We're gonna be losing wetlands along the coast. We're gonna be losing critical habitat, hypoxia, which is lack of oxygen. These things are going to really transform, if we don't do something, transform the ocean environment in ways that we really can't anticipate. The ocean is such a complex system and we have these very deadly tools right now at our disposal. We need to do something very soon. It's up to the young people because, as has been mentioned before, we have not succeeded so far. There's a lot to be done. It can be done. Look what those young people did in Birmingham. And we have taken on big challenges before. There was the issue of the, uh, the hole in the ozone layer. That was resolved. I mean, we can take on these issues. It's not impossible to do. It's up to the next generation. Thank you for being here, and let's go!